Hello friends, today we will going to discuss about acute viral hepatitis and the management of acute viral hepatitis. First to start with, we will know what is acute viral hepatitis. Now what is hepatitis at first definition? Hepatitis is a medical condition defined by inflammation of liver and characterized by presence of inflammatory cell in the tissue organ. Now secondly, what are the types of hepatitis? There are two types, acute and chronic. Now as we have told earlier that today we will only going to discuss about acute viral hepatitis and management so we will going to know what is acute viral hepatitis well the initial feature of acute viral hepatitis is a non-specific flu like symptom common to almost all acute viral infection and that include malice muscle and joint ache fever, nausea or vomiting, diarrhea and headache. More specific symptoms which can present in acute hepatitis from any cause are profound loss of appetite, aversion to smoking among smokers, dark urine, yellowing of eye and skin that we also commonly known as John Deere clinically and abdominal discomfort. Physical findings are usually minimal apart from jaundice in a third and tender hepatomegaly in about 10% of cases. Some exhibit lymphadenopathy, especially the abdominal lymph node and splenomegaly that is the enlargement of spleen. spleen found in about 5% of all acute viral hepatitis cases. So these are the clinical feature of acute viral hepatitis. Now one thing to be made clear that the three major type of acute viral hepatitis of infectious origin are acute viral hepatitis A, B and C. And only way that we can diagnose and differentiate among these three is the laboratory investigation. Now, uh, another thing that is to be made clear is that apart from infectious hepatitis, there can be other cause of acute viral hepatitis. And they are the infection from Epstein-Barr virus, chronic abuse, of liver by alcohol, drug, hypotension, ischemia and biliary tract disease. So all this etiology has to be ruled out before going into the uh, specific management. The hepatitis A will be diagnosed by diagnosing immunoglobulin A anti HAV in acute or early convalescent serum sample. Similarly, acute hepatitis B can be diagnosed by diagnosing hepatitis B surface antigen in serum and immunoglobulin M in anti HBC in serum. But the most commonly the routine investigation that is done is Australia antigen or hepatitis B surface antigen. And for anti hepatitis and for hepatitis C, we usually diagnose anti HCV in the serum. And the rather another common another uncommon type of hepatitis is hepatitis D for which we diagnose anti HDV in serum. But they are very rare. A, is a, B and C is most common, of which A is most common. Now we will going to discuss 
in some more detail about the investigation uh, about the management of acute viral hepatitis but before going any further i want to clarify here is that the treatment that i am discussing is a standard treatment but the any point of the time the treatment schedule can be changed or manipulated according to the situation and severity of the disease so to start with what is the management of acute viral hepatitis first is first that is one thing we should make clear is that there is no specific treatment of acute viral hepatitis only thing that we do is uh, symptomatic treatment until and unless patient become symptom free next in the treatment protocol is diet the diet that we prefer is high carbohydrate and low fat diet and the diet should be palatable highly palatable because patient often suffer from lack of appetite in acute viral hepatitis third protocol in our management is investigation and the most important investigation that we do is blood investigation in which we usually do lft or liver function test complete hemogram lipid profile and the blood for hepatitis b surface antigen anti hcv immunoglobulin m anti hev and immunoglobulin m anti hac fourth protocol in our investigation is avoiding contact and that is also in the acute stage because it is uh, very infectious especially if the patient is suffering from hepatitis a because it will easily uh, transmitted via close physical contact and from the uh, litter from urine and stool so close physical contact is to be avoided during the acute stage now the fifth is the fifth uh, most important thing in management is close surveillance surveillance for what surveillance for seeing that the patient is either developing hepatic coma which is the most dreaded of all in acute viral hepatitis or not and how we are going to see it we are going to generally see it by closely monitoring the higher function pedal edema ascites asterixis and flapping tremor which usually become abnormal in uh, hepatic coma now the treatment proper which is actually the symptomatic treatment to start with will uh, the most common uh, problem that patient faces is nausea and vomiting which we usually treat by giving domperidol 10 mg thrice a day before breakfast second most important symptom is severe vomiting which we usually treat by injection on dancetron 10 mg iv tds oh, sorry 10 mg iv od that is once a day before breakfast and another thing is to be noticed is that if the patient is suffering from severe vomiting a hypoglycemia and dehydration is one important but dreaded uh, complication so to manage that we also add 10% dextrose which we easily administered at 6 hourly interval that is 4, four times a day now uh, third important uh, symptom is pain in abdomen rather specifically pain in right hypochondrium for which we give paracetamol tablet 500 mg stat and then repeat as and when required now the fourth important complication is pruritus especially if it is of obstructive origin then the pruritus is an important complication for which patient even uh, may scratch his whole uh, stretch the skin and causing secondary infection so to treat that we usually administer antihistaminic such as cetrizine 10 mg 
tab 1 tab OD now the weakness profound weakness is usually found in acute viral hepatitis and the uh, and the and the reason is the impairment of liver which is uh, responsible for digestion of many nutrient but one thing the thing is made to be clear is that routine vitamin administration in acute viral hepatitis will not do any help only thing we should look about is the prothrombin time if it get increase in the acute viral hepatitis phase then we treat it by vitamin k uh, injection vitamin k usually 10 mg intramuscularly thrice a day and lastly and most importantly as we have mentioned earlier that if hepatic coma develop we have to manage the hepatic coma accordingly and that is the most important thing in acute viral hepatitis management the discussion of hepatic coma and its management will be done in next video